What's going on family? Robert here. So each and every Sunday, every pastor around the country and more than that, more likely around the world does what is considered exegesis. And what they do is they go and they find their passage, the passage that the Lord gives them to preach from that Sunday. They go and they explore the depths of the cultural references, the linguistics, and the things that surrounded the text in order to draw out what preachers call the age-old truth or the timeless truth. They take that timeless truth and then they apply it to today, making it relevant to us, to our lives, and to our situations. That is what is called exegesis, to draw out or to pull out something that is already in the text to make it visible to us. Did you know that Jesus is the exegesis of God. It says here in John chapter 1 verse 18, no one has ever seen God, the only God who is at the Father's side. He has made him known. He has made him known. The he being referred to in this first chapter of John is none other than Jesus. And that, that word, that phrase, made him known, is very similar to the word exegesis in our current language. And what that word means there is it means to consider out loud or to speak something out loud. It means to rehearse. It also means to declare or to tell. If I could say it a different way, if you see Jesus... He is God. He is what God looks like. He is the example that we should follow. If we want to know God, just go ahead and look at Jesus. Jesus makes God known to us. Now, I know to any Christian who's listening to this, any believer in Jesus Christ, that is that is not a shock to anybody. That, that, that shouldn't surprise you or shock you. You should be like, yeah, Brother Taylor, I, I already know that truth. But the question I want to challenge us with today is, just as Jesus makes God known to us, who makes Jesus known? Shouldn't that be us? as his followers, as the church, as those who have decided in our hearts to follow after him, to make him Lord of our life, who is making Jesus known? Brothers and sisters, I want to challenge you today that just as Jesus makes the Father known to us, our responsibility is to make Jesus known to others, to make him known through the way we carry ourselves, through our speech, through our actions, through the things that, that go on in our minds, are we making him known to others? Or are we being just like the ways of the world around us? Brothers and sisters, Jesus came from heaven, came down as the express image of the invisible God for us. And he set an example through his word, through the gospels. And so we are to carry that same imprint, that same nature, that, that same picture of him so that others in the world can know him as well. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus down to show us what you look like. Help us to show people what Jesus looks like and to draw them to him. It's in Jesus' name and for his sake we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotionals. God bless.